Wool and mohair have been the pride of this tiny mountain kingdom for centuries. But a recent change in the nation's system of brokering sales has wrought havoc on this industry. It all started, says the founder of the National Farmers Union, Wolalefi Motiane, when a mysterious man came to town in 2012 and tried to get a foothold in the industry. Motiane dismissed the man, a Chinese businessman who identified himself as Stone Shi. Who is this guy? How can he pounce on me on this? Does he have any respect of people? So I then said to Stone Shi, no, I'm able to handle my business. I don't need you. And he walked away. I never, unfortunately, got to get him. In hindsight, this was a mistake on my part to be able to find out who this fellow is. Five years later, she secured a deal to broker all of Lesotho's wool and mohair exports. Parliament codified that system into law in 2018, giving Xi's company, the Lesotho Wool Center, a monopoly. The result, Motiana says, was catastrophic. An untold number of farmers remain unpaid for wool they sold in 2017. He himself has a warehouse with an estimated half million dollars of unsellable wool. Motiana considers himself lucky. Other wool growers have fared worse. Local media reports some farmers have taken their lives. Some of them have died, lost their lives. We've lost some of them. They have not been... Let us remember that this is a one billion Maluti industry, the wool and mohair. Stone she was an individual like this, like this finger of mine. Would you, would any government, would any country agree to hand over such a, an, an important industry to a single individual? She's office did not respond to VOA's request for an interview. Finance Minister Mokhetsi Majoro says the government erred in giving she the deal. This is a, uh, a mistake that uh, we have recognized and have moved quickly now through uh, legislation to remove. So we have now opened up the brokerage business to several players. So they have applied and then there are several brokers now that, that are, are dealing with wool. And we have opened up the market to say you can sell any way you like. Before she's company took over, all of Lesotho's wool and mohair exports were sold through brokerages in South Africa. Economist Emmanuel Latete says he understands why the government wanted to shift the business to Lesotho, but says the policy needs review. It might have had a good intent, but the problem was how it was then introduced and implemented in the market. Did we involve the relevant stakeholders so that they understand? the direction the economy was taking. And that involvement, to me, from discussions I've had, might have been limited. That's definitely true for these men, who came down from the mountains to try to sell their sheep and goats in the capital. At this point, many of these animals are only good for meat, since the wool won't sell. These men didn't want to talk, Motiani explained, because talking, they said, doesn't put food on the table. Anita Paul, VOA News, Masera. Eu tô pra dar lá, vim tirar dela, eu tô rodando um vídeo da água.